Your offers have to turn heads. You have to make your web design services irresistible. You've got the skills, you've got the drive, but how do you turn that into an offer that clients cannot refuse? Look, imagine you're a chef. You've got all the ingredients, you've got the restaurant, you're even advertising the dishes, but so is someone else next door. What are you adding that makes people want to come into your restaurant and taste that food? First off, let's consider the pricing of your offer, okay? You might be offering web design, so is someone else, and they're charging $50. Does that mean you go in at $50 or $45 or $55? No, because you're kind of pricing at that price bracket. And if you're trying to attract higher paying clients, maybe they're going to look at it and go, well, $50 websites. I don't want to go for that. I want to go for a luxury or branded service. So maybe you need to start considering charging a lot more. Now, for some of you, that might be alien territory because you're always used to charging $50, $100, maybe even $1,000. How do you make the leap to start charging $10,000. Now, I do want to add in a word of warning here. I am not saying that you are going to start earning $10,000 overnight. It takes a lot of time to get to that. The point I'm making is that you need to view your dish, your web design services, your SEO, your analytics as a masterpiece. Your web design is going to be the Mona Lisa. When you price your websites too low, you are undervaluing it. Price them right and you will attract the art gallery lover who wants to admire what you create. Yeah, I know it all sounds very superficial, right? Anyone could say this. Like, why are you even still watching this? Why do you even believe what I'm saying? Because this is the reality of where I was, okay, and where I started. 20 years ago, you're producing what you think will work and you start to do it for a very minimal value. But then when you build the confidence and you start to believe in what you can do, you can either do 10 websites for $100 and make a thousand, or you can do 10 websites at $10,000 each. Okay, so you're going to maximize your price a little bit, but how do you stand out against the millions of web designers out there? What makes you different? You could just call yourself a web designer, just like everybody else out there, or you become a go-to expert. Can you show off how you've used your SEO skills to help other businesses? Can you show how you took a scribble or a Figma design or maybe what restaurant owners or barbers and hairdressers and how you took their idea and turned it into a thriving website? Can you demonstrate that? There's loads of people out there that can play the guitar, but there's only going to be some that can lead a whole concert and festival. You need to be the leader. You need to headline the concert. Whatever area you decide to become the go-to expert or the leader in, make sure you know it inside out. Read up about it. Learn about it. Find the pros and cons. Make sure you can answer questions thrown at you. And when you are offering your web design services or what songs you're going to sing for them or what meals you're going to serve in the restaurant, make sure they are catchy and simple to understand. Stand. Even if you offer 10 services, don't list all 10 out because it might bombard and feel overwhelming to what the customer or the client wants. List down maybe your top three or four. I would say go for three. It's okay to be less than that. Show them what they're gonna get. Show them the benefits of each one. Don't be afraid of stating your price and it's okay to say from. You might not say this website is gonna cost a thousand dollars because you don't exactly know that until you're talking to the client with regards to exactly what they want. But you can say from five thousand. Why not start the baseline. And then after that, everything extra is upwards. Remember, the website you offer is going to be the Mona Lisa of the digital industry. So paint a picture of how you are going to transform their business. Think of your services like a blockbuster movie trailer. Within 30 seconds, you are on the edge of your seat and you're thinking, I need to see this. It's got to be an experience, a solution, a journey that you and the client are going to embark on together.